Shemoth, Exodus chapter 20. And Elohim spoke all these words, saying, I am Yah your Elohim, who brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim, out of the house of slavery. You have no other mighty ones against my face. You do not make for yourselves a carved image, or any likeness of that which is in the heavens above, or which is in the earth beneath, or which is in the waters under the earth. You do not bow down to them, nor serve them. For I, Yah, your Elohim, am a jealous El, visiting the crookedness of the fathers on the children, to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me, but showing loving commitment to thousands, to those who love me and guard my commands. You do not bring the name of Yah, your Elohim, to naught, for Yah does not leave the one unpunished who brings his name to naught. Remember the Sabbath day to set it apart. Six days you labor and shall do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of Yah your Elohim. You do not do any work, you, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your cattle, nor your stranger who is within your gates. For in six days Yah made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Therefore Yah blessed the seventh day and set it apart. Respect your father and your mother, so that your days are prolonged upon the soil which Yah your Elohim is giving you. You do not murder. You do not commit adultery. You do not steal. You do not bear false witness against your neighbor. You do not covet your neighbor's house. You do not covet your neighbor's wife, nor his male servant, nor his female servant, nor his ox, nor his donkey, or whatever belongs to your neighbor. And all the people saw the thunders and lightning flashes, the voice of the shofar, and the mountain smoking. And the people saw it, and they trembled and stood at a distance, and said to Moshe, You speak with us, and we hear, but let not Elohim speak with us, lest we die. And Moshe said to the people, Do not fear, for Elohim has come to prove you, and in order that his fear be before you, so that you do not sin. So the people stood at a distance, but Moshe drew near the thick darkness where Elohim was. And Yah said to Moshe, Say this to the children of Israel: You yourselves have seen that I have spoken to you from the heavens. You do not make besides me mighty ones of silver, and you do not make mighty ones of gold for yourselves. Make a slaughter place of earth for me, and you shall slaughter on it your descend ascending offerings and your peace offerings, your sheep and your cattle. In every place where I cause my name to be remembered, I shall come to you and bless you. And if you make me a slaughter place of stone, do not build it of cut stone, for if you use your chisel on it, you have profaned it. Nor do you go up by steps to my slaughter place, lest your nakedness be exposed on it.